Hey YouTube, welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we are trying to install the fuel tank. This is probably the fifth or five hundredth time I've uh, tried to film this intro and one thing or another comes up and uh, prevents us from installing this fuel tank. This fuel tank is kind of the last step uh, before we start her up and make sure the oil pump, water pump, uh, all the pressures look good, looking for any leaks, anything like that, and tune her up and get her on the road. Um, but there's just been one thing after another. It's probably been a week of rain here uh, that stopped us from working on it uh, out here. We're going to try to get it in. We got weather coming in on us. Uh, looked at the radar right now. We got rain impending as we speak, but we're going to get as far as we can. Uh, right now I'm just doing some prep trying to get ready to slap this thing in okay just a few things uh, we have a PTO here it's not hooked up to anything but there was a pipe uh, elbow hooked onto it we've already taken that out in anticipation of uh, putting this fuel tank in also we've taken off uh, the masking tape out of the uh, fuel uh, filling hole and uh, we've also put our um, fuel line uh, back through that uh, floorboard and, and in anticipation of hooking all that up. All right, y'all, it's the next day. Uh, I got rained out yesterday, and so I decided to put a few more patches on the fuel tank after looking at some of the pits and repaint it. And so we did that overnight inside, and now we got a fairly decent day out. Um, unfortunately got some things to do this afternoon so I've got just a small window of time uh, today so we're going to try to knock out what we can so let's get going okay so before we get started just kind of show you what I did I've put patches all over this thing this thing probably has more patches than it does original metal at this point but uh, compared to the price of a new tank uh, the patches were cheaper I also use this closed foam um, uh, closed foam uh, strips I think it's for like campers uh, got it from Napa I got a whole roll for not too much and I'm using that instead of felt uh, I figured it might be better for resisting uh, water and holding water so we're gonna go ahead and mount this thing in and uh, the first step will be to attach the fuel line while we have some flexibility so we got the tank out it was, wasn't too bad to get out so now we're going to try to get this thing in see if that works now Let's see where the widest gap is seems to be right about there So we are just going It's real close right there. It's got a little piece. Ah. That, I didn't want that to happen. That's all right. We can do it. Come on. There you go. And try to put the tank back in. So um, we're going to try to put this thing back in. Now that we have that gasket nice and in place. And this is going to be a lot more challenging than it was. And I'm just kind of working it a little by little and we're just kind of looking at it so I don't really know the answer to this on what goes first but it doesn't seem like it wants to install in there as is It's 
so perhaps I don't know what to do. All right, we're gonna see what we can do here. There it goes. I just had to get the right angle on it and get her down in there. Okay. So yeah, you want to install install that gasket first and then put the fuel tank in. Whew. That was a beast. But now we got it in. Now we're going to hook that fuel line back up that we uh, detached and go from there. Okay, if, hopefully you can kind of see that. Uh, up in there is uh, it's flared. And so again, you want the tubing to bottom out in there and then turn that nut in uh, to tighten it all up. You don't need any thread sealant or anything like that. I've already taken the cap off of uh, the thread uh, nut, threaded nut right here. Um, and so uh, we are ready to go. All right, so I think I got it started finally. And it took a lot to get it started. Kind of had to put the nut in there first to get it to start. And just at the angle it's at, um, it just didn't want to start real well. All right, so we're going to take our 7 16 flare wrench, flare nut wrench, and try to turn it some. So you get the idea. All right, so we got it tight. Now I have some good flexibility on that fuel line. So I've got a flip. It's connected into a flex line up front and none of it is attached yet. Um, I will, these right here, I will uh, attach those later on. Uh, but I knew I probably needed the flexibility to uh, be able to move that line around which I did I also had to bend it a little bit to kind of get the right angle to get it a good 90 degrees straight up into the fuel tank there but I think I got it um, and yeah we'll go from there all right so we're rushing I know the light's not great but um, the next step is to install the bracket and so yeah here we go but uh so you kind of got to fish this thing in here. And uh, I guess this might be. There we go. It's just kind of, you got to fiddle with it, just like everything else. And so the short side goes over here on this side, and the long side's going to go on to uh, over into the middle section, and then we bolt it together. Take it from the side and bend it in. bend it over into place, supposedly. But I don't know if that's right. I don't know if my bolt's long enough to fit that. I don't like how that opens up like that, but let's see what the bolt does. Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably long enough. Put it in, let's do ourselves a favor. Put it in from that side. Kind of hold it in place. So we'll have to do a little painting since that thing opened up a little bit. All right, we kind of got it started. Not too bad. Now we'll tighten her up. I just don't know about that though. To me, it makes more sense to be on the other way so that that's flat to the ground, but it doesn't latch in like that. I'll have to look at the old one. So I uh, took this and bent it the other way in my vise. It's not pretty, but uh, it wasn't bent the correct way. So this is supposed to be up and down like that. And it was like this. 
so I bent it the right way. Hopefully it will work. We'll see. Alright, so we're back at the fuel tank. It's about uh, probably at least a week later. Um, I know for you it's probably a few seconds, but I've been working on other home, home repairs and work and so on and so forth. But let me show you what has happened. So I did a little research on uh, the fuel straps. And apparently this is really supposed to be bent the other way. And so if you look at it, now that I look at it, it's probably custom made. Uh, probably at some point it got replaced or somebody bought something and it wasn't the right thing. I don't know the history behind what has happened. All I know is that hoop is bent the wrong way. So what does that mean for me? That means I've had to bend uh, my straps the other way versus the, how they came out of uh, uh, the spare parts. Not necessarily that the uh, company that made them made the wrong thing. It simply through the years these things have just had a lot of customizations done to them and or parts replaced probably at some point uh, something rusted out it got replaced and either made it or um, something similar was used and it's not quite the same so hey there, there's no saying that it's not it wasn't like that from the factory uh, these have had a, a lot of uh, you just see it throughout like just different configurations different parts used um, I kind of doubt it was but there's no telling it could have been because it looks like the original strap also has the, the the one that would fit this way so okay so I've had to rebend this and kind of make it a different shape as you can see it's pretty beat up point is and I also had to cut it because it was, was double thick and that double thickness just was not going to work in my situation um, and so I've made it look pretty much close to the original I know it's beat all up I'll pull it out later to paint it but for the time being our goal is to get the thing running so that's that and then we also have this one uh, and again I've had to bend it like crazy it's all beat up as well um, but that's to fit our uh, configuration and so hopefully um, that will all work so if you have one of the ones that go like this let me know in the comments below It'd be awesome to know how many people really have that uh, versus the one that goes backwards. Uh, I would just love to know, uh, or if that's from another Jeep or uh, it just or another car that you know of, let me know in the comments below so that uh, I can kind of just have a, a reference point as to what happened in the past. All right, here we are down and uh, putting it on. So as you see, it's bent the other way that's all right there's enough flexibility in these parts that i was able to bend it the other way there we go and so that's not perfect here as a matter of fact i'm probably going to put some of this foam down uh at some point as well again it's too cold right now to put something like that in uh, we're going to go get some tools and instead of using impact like we did last time I'm just going to use some hand tools to, to tighten this up and see if we can't get this thing to tighten up a little while. So here we are. I did remember the size correctly. It is 9 sixteenths. We're just taking this easy. Last time we really gunned it in there and it didn't have great results. All of a sudden that started getting real tight. So kind of what you want. And I can see it starting to stress a little bit right here. So I'm gonna leave well enough alone. I don't think this is really going anywhere. I saw this starting to move uh, down like that. I'm afraid it's gonna pop and break right here if I keep going uh, much further. So it ain't going nowhere. So we should be fine with that. Okay, so I got some of this wrap uh, barred at the cheap hardware store. Uh, I'm afraid actually. Um, and 
and so I just want to put 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 this in conduit just to kind of make it look better and so that's what I'm working on here all right so I'm just kind of routing this stuff up underneath the uh, tub here as much as possible so it's not sticking out and then I'm probably going to run it about say like that Ow. stab my finger there as much as I can as a single wire it's easier to run it I put some sort of tie straps or something in there. Maybe something like, like that. Alright, we're just going to kind of cut it so I can route it real well. There should be a, actually a cable in there too. There it is. Not a ton of access. So we're going to see if we can route it up through there. And make sure that the connector I'm going to use is going to fit on there. It will. So very good. We're just going to put that kind of back in the hole for a minute. I'm just going to strip this a bit. these just a little bit stuff it all in the connector I like to have just a little bit poking out like that and then I like how these crimp better so we'll crimp it crimp it a little tight come here flatten it that ain't going nowhere hopefully all right so i'm going to kind of stuff this back in here i'm going to have to trim it just a hair again this is just for protection uh, you don't have to use something like this but I just think it looks a little cleaner than having a bare wire sitting right there. There we go. That fuel tank's about installed now. Uh, we got a little bit to feed through here. I'm just gonna feed it up through there. Just to here. Get some of that there. Alright, very good. So there you go, the fuel tank's in. Uh and uh Hopefully we won't have to take it back out, but if we do, you just reverse all those steps. Not a huge deal, but uh, I think we're ready to do some testing on getting it running. So anyway, hopefully this helps. I appreciate you all watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe, like button, share, all that good stuff. Leave some comments below. All that helps me. And uh, I appreciate it, y'all. Y'all take care. It's time for supper.